Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, okay? If you like what you see, I'm going to need you to go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay? Please hit the bell. If you want to be here every single time, the tea team is over here getting it in with all of these good tarot messages. If you would like a personal reading from me, please hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. Um, okay, our readings are $44.44 and do have a 48-hour turnaround time, okay? Also, if you just have a little random tea you want to share, go ahead and hit me up at dftbox at gmail.com. Also, if you want to be a member of this channel and support our whole little dark goddess tea powwows and kickets and personal sessions and private readings that we have in over there talking about the erotic, the bold, the beautiful of the feminine energy, okay? The reckoning nerves, the thunder, and the lightning of the feminine energy. Go ahead and hit us up and join that membership that is in the link below this video. $4.99 a month. Come on over there, kick with us drink a little dark goddess tea let's go ahead and get into it y'all um somebody out there you you went through a breakup and you're upset you're sad you're feeling away but what i'm here to let you know is that you are dealing with energy transference those are not your feelings those are his feelings and you know it because you keep saying like i don't even know why i'm so upset about this you may have even initiated the breakup but somehow you are the one that is sad, broke down, and sitting on the side of the tub crying naked after you get out the shower. And I'm telling you right now that those ain't even your feelings, sister. Those are his feelings. Yeah, those are his feelings. Those are his feelings. God darn it. Those are his feelings, okay? Funeral, all right? Make sure y'all can see. Funeral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The relationship has died. Um, this man, this is a switching of places that is going on here. You feel like you need comfort and sympathy. You do not. These roses on here are pink. You are the one who initiated. It was the feminine energy that kind of set the stage for this shit to fall apart in the first place. You may have given this man an ultimatum. It may not have been a flat out breakup. It might have been like, look. This and that has got to happen or I'm really not even going to talk to you no more. And so you didn't. And so y'all haven't. And that's what you wanted to happen. But somehow it's like this feeling of illusion and trickery and fairy tale. Thank you, spirit and deception, because this is energy transference. You're feeling his feelings. You're feeling what he feels. OK, this man is sitting back contemplating marriage with you asking himself if he should have popped the question these are things that he's crying about now because he played games okay and, and play stupid games win stupid prizes okay so now you are no longer in his life and now this man is saying damn maybe i should have went hard maybe i should have asked that question this question talked about marriage okay he's the one drowning in memories y'all see him right there crying over memories like the corners of my mind okay He's over there hurt. He's over there going through old text messages. Um, and, and rightfully so. This is somebody that didn't do their due diligence in the relationship. And now he's sitting back trying to act like, oh my God. No, you should have did what you were supposed to do when you were supposed to do it, sir. Okay. We mean business around here. Amen. Divine Feminine Tarot. See, do we mean business? I think we do. Okay. He didn't, he didn't believe that. He didn't believe fat meat was greasy. And now his ass is sitting over there crying in a, in a uh, cup of tea. This man tried to promote no strings. This was all him. No strings attached, baby. I don't care. You don't say anything's cool. Now he's in his feelings, okay? He is in his feelings in a major way. And this, that's all him. He's in his feelings. Um, and he's been very shady about it. This man may be one you haven't even heard from him since it all went down, or you just heard a little whisper on the wind, like, ah, oh, JT said, da 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 da. We don't give a damn what he said. We know what happened. Okay, he brought that. Look at this. No strings feeling shady romance. <laughs> Does it get any realer than this? This man played himself. Okay, he came in the door playing games. He himself killed the relationship. Okay, so don't, don't sit here, even though you may have been the one who just basically said, look, Close the door on your way out, okay? Don't don't forget to go when you leave, okay? You was the one who went on and said that, but at the end of the day, it was his behaviors, okay? It was his bull 
that ultimately set the stage for you to just be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go on let get on up, get your ass up out of here. This man was being reckless outside of the relationship, outside of what y'all were trying to build. He was being reckless. He was doing this, that, and the third, okay? You couldn't take that. I mean, you know, that wasn't something you was going to put up with. So what are we really saying? What are we really doing? You weren't going to tolerate that. You weren't going to tolerate it. I mean, it's not, it's nothing more to say. You weren't going to tolerate that. Um, you were definitely looking to move into something. And since he couldn't, then you moved on. Okay. This man misses you. You may feel like you miss him. I'm here to tell you, you made the right decision. You made the right call. He misses you. You guys are just still connected energy wise and you're catching what he feels that you don't. You did what you were supposed to do for you, and you know that. This man misses you. He knows that he had been a jackass, okay? Um, right, what did I just say? Mirroring. You're feeling what... These feelings actually belong to him. You may be acting them out, and I want you to look back at y'all's relationship. Is this something that happened a lot? You know, certain, certain, certain energies do do that, okay? They make a habit of kind of letting their partner act out gaslighting act out their emotions triggered okay they'll let you sit there and act out their shit okay while they sit back and act like a billionaire while they sit back and act like everything is everything okay troll period they sit there basically trolling like they're just saying shit they might just be saying shit to get you fired up to get you running your mouth blah 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 this is not a new dynamic in y'all's right relationship this isn't new this is not new the concept or the idea that you kind of just sit there and somehow you kind of end up holding the bag for his feelings. Vampire. Hello. This man is a very vampiric energy. He has a way of kind of getting the person on the other end to get drained by his bullshit or act his bullshit out. This is not new. Okay, this is kind of something that he does in a manipulative fashion. We see side hustle. So he's not coming right at your face. He ain't coming right at your head with this. It's kind of coming from the side. Okay, he is fucked up over you. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. He is over there fucked up over you. Do not let him put you in a position where you're sitting back feeling like it was you. It, it really wasn't. You knew what it was. You saw what he wasn't doing. There's twin flame energy between y'all on the bottom of the deck. You saw what he wasn't doing and what he, what he was not bringing to the table. And you, you called him out on it. You called him out. So don't think for one minute you the one over you. It's not you that's hurt. Trust. Trust and believe. It is not you, sis. It is not you that's hurt and so up. That is his energy. Let him keep it. Okay? You need to cleanse. You need to pray. You need to cleanse. Okay, you need to burn your sage and get that shit up off you. It just is what it is. Okay, it's too late. I moved on and do not wish to reconnect. This is really where you really are. I'm just needing you to catch it, okay? I cannot give you what you want or deserve. I'm sorry. This man knows that. You have become too difficult for me to handle. That's a big turnoff. The point where you were calling this man out for who he is or what he is, that was really the point where it was kind of like there was nothing left. That's all this man was going to be able to handle and deal with was somebody that was going to let him be a vampire. Let him kind of keep them triggered so that he doesn't have to feel his own emotions. It's like he cuts himself and watches you bleed. That is something that was already kind of apparent in y'all's relationship, okay? It was something that was kind of already there, if you really think about it. That is why now you're experiencing his emotions still. You need to really cut that energetic tie. You may even need to do a core cutting, okay? I cannot listen to your voice. It affects my soul. If there are any voicemails or anything that you have of him, that he has of you, he can't even listen to them. He's that tender, okay? My man is tender about you right about now. I need to free myself from fear and doubt. I am a caged bird. This is where you are. You need to free yourself from this. It's over. A part of you is still in it. That's why he's still able to access you and get you to kind of feel and still kind of act out the feelings that he actually has. These are not your real feelings. My mask keeps me safe. I need to fake my feelings. That is what he is over there doing. That's what he is over there doing. That is not who you are. That is not where you are. That is not what you are about 
okay? You know full well this man had them walking papers coming to him. That's just that's just what it was. You knew it. You knew it. <laughs> you knew it. Okay? That you had given this man, you had given him enough chances, if not too many altogether. Okay, we see book, we see glove, we see milk. You had tried to nourish this man. Okay, you had tried to reach out and touch him. You had tried to give him knowledge. You had tried every damn thing you could try. And you finally just was like, let me let me go ahead and let this shit go. Look, bees, you had tried to hover around him, sweeten him up. You may have even done a sweetening jar on him. You had did everything you could do. You had did everything you could do. You, just, you, 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 you had tapped out. You had tried everything to sweeten this man up. And the man, you see him, he's over there, he's, you know, blood sucking as far as your energy went. To hell with him. That was my grandfather answer to everything, y'all. He ain't anything like that. To hell with him. That was it. That was the end of the conversation. Well, they fell to hell with him. That was it. That's what I'm telling y'all. Okay? Because you had tried everything you could in regards to being able to... Hey, book, knowledge. This is what I need. This is what I want from you. Let me be tender to you. Let me be kind to you. Let me touch you. Let me... Come on, let's talk. Let's slow dance. Let's make love. Let me nourish you. Let me be there for you. Let me help you work through your childhood traumas. Let me love on you. Let me put you in the sweetening jar. Let me pour honey on you. Let me, let me lick honey off your toes. I don't know your personal life. You understand me? But the bottom line is that never once in all of this, has this man taken accountability? And it is because he doesn't typically take accountability energetically in relationships that when he when he connects with someone, love making, etc., in a relationship, they end up taking emotional and spiritual accountability for his bullshit. Someone else ends up mentally account accountable for his nonsense because this is what he's used to. He's not going to take responsibility for anything. When he was a kid, he saw his mama take responsibility for his daddy's bullshit. Maybe I should have been quiet. He'd have been home more. That type of thing. So this is what he's used to. He doesn't have the ability to really stand and be accountable in his own right. Even, even, you know, even though you've tried all these different ways to kind of change the energy, it just was not change the energy how. You know what I'm saying? When he's not willing to be accountable. If he's not going to be accountable for not having the knowledge, if he's not going to be if he's not going to be accountable for the fact that you're trying to reach out with him through love and intimacy, if he's not going to be accountable for the fact that he has childhood trauma that you're trying to work with him with in the first damn place, if he's not going to be accountable for the fact that he's a bitter ass so and so at this time in the relationship, he needs sweetening, he needs therapy, he needs to work with his mama through some shit and work with you through some shit, etc., 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 then how in the hell Was he going to really be a benefit in this relationship? And now he is still somehow energetically somewhat left you holding the bag of experiencing the energy transfer of his dark, negative, heartbreak, three of swords emotions. Okay. Child. Love is something else. Okay. Spiritually and in the material world. Okay. You just it's, it's just something else out here. Okay. Six of Pentacles, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you really need to give him his energy back, okay, and start working on self-healing. Page of Cups with the Six of Wands. Yeah, it, it's that time, okay? It, 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 it's that time. You need to, you really need to, come on, let it go. Walk in your own victory, Six of Wands. But what my point is saying is, is that somebody out there, like, you think this is your energy. It's not. It's not. You really think this is your energy. It really isn't. It really isn't. It, it's coming from him. Okay? It is what he's feeling. His disappointment in himself. King of Cups. What I tell y'all. His disappointment in himself. What I tell y'all. King of Cups, Ten of Swords. He's disappointed in himself and his inability to really take action and own this thing. Okay? Ten of Cups. He wasn't able to own it and turn it into a family-like situation. We saw up here, he's beating himself up now. He's asking himself in memory, Six of Cups energy. Maybe I should have considered marriage, Four of Wands energy, okay? Maybe I should have thought about popping a question to her, Ten of Pentacles energy. Maybe I should have been thinking about creating some kind of legacy with her. Pop the question, it could even be Two of Cups energy. Thinking about 
creating something more. He's kicking himself over that now. Why didn't I think of creating something more? Why didn't I think of a Ten of Cups? He blocked himself because he doesn't want to deal with his own issues. Eight of Swords, King of Swords. This person could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Y'all know they be showing up on the board clowning. Okay? He wasn't really willing to go the full gamut to a Ten of Pentacles. He's standing here with one damn pentacle. This is a page. We're trying to get to the Ten. He wasn't really ready for that. Look at this Knight of Pentacles. He kept trying to lowball you, and you just wasn't willing to take it, okay? You weren't willing to take that. Ten of Wands energy. You weren't willing to accept that. That is the point where the relationship blew up. You got tired of trying to push your way into something more, and you just was like, look, I, I blow the whole relationship up. If you're not finna give me what I want, you can go, okay? And so now you're on guard in the relationship. He's on guard. And in the astral realm, seven of cups, in the in the ethers, if you will, this man is still accessing you. High priestess energy. This man is still accessing you. You are still able to hear him. High priestess energy, okay? High up there in the um, kind of mental plane. You're still hearing his thoughts. You're still pick, picking up his energy. It's definitely time for you to do either core cutting, cleanse, and pray or something. Cut this, cut this man's, this energy vampire energy that he carries with him. Cut him off because really it's time for you to step into a new season. There's no reason for you to still be holding on to this. Um, does this man call himself getting his act together? You know, sometimes they, they try to come back and do something different. Does this man try to return? Uh-oh, we got a card that's fly out. Okay, a few cards. Does this man try to return? We see the five of pentacles. This man is out in the cold shivering, okay? He does try to return by making you some kind of offering. Um, it is totally up to you whether or not you want to accept this, okay? Church bells ring when the judgment card comes through the building, okay? It is totally up to you whether or not you want to accept this um, and consider it an act that can be fulfilling because this man's heart is broken, Okay? And he needs your energy. He needs what you have. Um, he comes back to talk about it and bring justice. But I'm going to tell you something. Five of Wands, yeah. I don't really, Five of Wands and Ace of Cups. You're going to fight this because you realize now beyond the shadow of a doubt, Ace of Cups, Three of Cups, you have so much more to give him in terms of emotional health. And he needs to get his mental health together. Um, mentally, he just is not in the best space. Um, what I see happening in this situation is you really just telling him, you know, you need to get your head right before you can fool with me. Because at this point, I mean, three of cups, ace of cups, ace of pentacles is up under here, eight of wands. These, you know, he's trying to make you an offering, but really he's not ready for that. And you're the person that keeps in and are responsible for the emotional well-being of this relationship while he's sucking your 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 energy dry because he's not prepared mentally and he needs to seek help. So it may be best to tell this man, I mean, even if y'all just had these conversations and that's all it, it ends up being in the future, just let him know he needs to get some help and to help him deal with intimacy and getting close to women because that's what he's struggling with. This man actually does want to be closer to a woman. He wants intimacy. He wants this, this four of wands, two of cups energy. He doesn't even know how to get to it because mentally he's just, there needs to be some mental self care with him. Um, so yeah, that's what we see. Um, quit letting this man stress you out because he's doing that even from a distance. You really can just try to heal and move on at this point. Um, he needs to try to heal and move on on his own as well. This relationship that y'all in right now, even though you haven't seen him since you're still in this relationship, there's so much codependence present here emotionally and mentally. Cut the courses, okay? Let this man, this man needs to go on out here in these spiritual streets and figure his circumstances out and stop putting them on the women in his life. You are not the first that he's had this um kind of you know distant cold but you feel my emotions for me relationship with and sadly you probably won't be the last until he gets the help that he needs and you also need to pay attention to making sure that you're not over giving or allowing yourself to be siphoned from emotionally in a codependent spiritual circumstance if you have enjoyed this divine feminine tarot tea please go ahead like 
share, subscribe. What do I say? Don't be afraid to go ahead, hit that bell. Okay, if you want to be here every single time, me and the T-Team are over here getting it in with all these good old tarot messages. Okay, if you would like a personal reading from, from me, please don't be afraid to hit me up at dftarot at gmail.com. If you got a little tea to share, go hit me up at dftbox at gmail.com. Okay, um... Go ahead and join that membership, okay? Dark Goddess T, what y'all waiting for? Don't be like me and catch that uh, random pause. <laughs> and as always, go ahead and run over there. I will catch y'all in the next one.